and start working together to combat the despair of their friend's death. Ah, how wonderful. How beautiful it is. Huh? cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone, right? Uh, is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? But... I never expected Byakuya to have night vision goggles. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. And, well, you all saw how that played out. But with a twist ending like this, I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. <laughs> Byakuya performed admirably. Just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? Don't tell me. Is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Me? Lie? That's outrageous! There's no way someone like me could ever lie to you guys. I understand better than anyone else that I'm ultimately worthless. I'm too arrogant to have dreams or cling to hope. I'm too disdainful to actually try at anything. I've made peace with the fact that I'm a lowly, stupid, insignificant human who can't do anything right. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets! He seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th. Just like me. That's quite the hobby you have there. But, like, now's not really the time to bring it up. Hey, Nagito. If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep, I sure did. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at, right? letter in the first place I think somewhere deep in my heart I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds well I bet if that really was my reason at least some of you would feel sorry for me are you making fun of us by threatening Byakuya Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur. Am I wrong? That reminds me. Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. all your suggestions. It was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep, that's true too. But you're wrong about one thing. Uh, huh? What? 
I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember it. A worthless talent for a worthless human. I see! You're the ultimate lucky student. Then, did you? That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks. But I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky. But it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty. Just like I wanted. Enough. That... I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed... The despair it brings. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. That was my only motivation. You're not making any sense! Fine, let's start the damn vote already. I'm ready to fucking kill this psycho. Please! Monokuma! Please, wait! Huh? The fuck? Um, 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 how should I put this? Um, it is Majiko really the killer? Um, what are you saying? He's already confessed, hasn't he? I, I already know that, but um, there's just something a little strange. If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me want to puke. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, for now, might I suggest we listen to what she has to say? But we know who the killer is. Simply listening is acceptable. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. He has already confessed. Um, you know... That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Byakuya with a knife he hit. No, that's wrong. That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say, right, Mikan? What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. But, uh, based on the entry wounds on Yakuya's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife! Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse! Her. 
Is this what you're trying to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer! It has to be you! Hey, don't blame me. Mikan's the one who said it. Nagito, are you still hiding something? Uh, hiding? Like, during the blackout, did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Who knows? After all this, what else do you intend to hide? Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off! What happened during the blackout? Hmm. Oh, if you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision. Don't get distracted. Our lives are at stake, you know. Huh? Whose life is at stake? Seriously, how long is it going to take for you to understand the damn rules? Nobody can see in the dark, no matter how hard you think about it. The truth is beyond your sight. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite the fact that it came from me? No, that's not it. Not it? What's not it? I can prove it with this! Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, I'm pretty sure someone could have heard me. Isn't that right, Ibuki? Oh, real? You were the one who told me, remember? How everyone was shouting during the blackout? Uh, everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. It's a good thing your ears are awesome, because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth! However, after hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark... What the hell? What's going on here? This... this is... Ow! It almost sounds like... Byakuya fought back against Nagito or something. Well... That's actually what happened. As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! After getting shoved out from under the table, just as confused as you guys. I lost sight of the glowing paint, and I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on, and Byakuya's body was lying under the table. not the killer from the very beginning the idea to throw a party hiding the knife setting up the blackout it was all going according to plan 
But unfortunately, my plan failed. And all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. What happened after that? Even I don't know. You failed? Th then you're not the one who killed Byakuya? Then we're right back to square one! How can that be? We spent all this time talking back and forth! What other word is brimming with so much despair? But you can't give up. You need to have hope. Do your best and move forward. Rising to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. What are you gonna do? <laughs> and of course, there's no ten billion dollars either! You're so evil! isn't the murder weapon, there's no definitive proof that I'm the killer. Sh shut up! We'll be the judge of that! Y you say you were shoved away, but you can't actually prove it, right? That's right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion. B but there's another reason why I don't think Nagito is the killer. There's still more? Based on what we've discussed, Byakuya was killed under the table, right? Is there something wrong with that? Well, even if that's true, I feel Nagito looks, you know, clean. Nobody's ever complimented me on my appearance before. Not even my own mother. Uh, I'm not talking about your looks. Are you trying to say something like, why didn't Nagito have any bloodstains on him? Yes, th that's it. Because under the table, there was a lot of blood splattered everywhere, right? There were even bloodstains on the inside of the tablecloth. If he stabbed Byakuya to death, strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. I didn't get any blood on me? That is weird. <laughs> you just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Something that might have been used to block the blood splatter. What do you think it could have been? Hmm. I guess we did see something I could have used. Isn't that right, Hajime? Tablecloth we found in the storage room, right? If there are blood stains on it, that 
That settles it. Nagito used the tablecloth to block the blood splatter. But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? You mean after the lights came back on? What would he have done if we'd seen him? That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big. So even if you tried to hide it and take it with you... Wearing a tablecloth, going under the table, getting a knife in a blackout, and stabbing someone. That's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys, too? Th then what does it mean? Maybe the killer didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. No, there's no mistake that the murder occurred under that table. Even the inside of the tablecloth was bloody, so there's no denying Yakuya was killed there. But that doesn't mean where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are the same, right? I don't understand at all! Huh? Why'd you... You look like you're onto something. Really? But it sounds like a riddle. I feel like I'm onto something, but it's still not clear what that is. Under the table, but not under the table. If it's somehow possible, it's the only way that makes sense. Moving forward, we should put aside all unnecessary preconceptions and just choose the answer. I think...
Killer must have stabbed Byakuya from under the floorboards. Under the floorboards? The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps, and there was no carpet laid out under the table. If they stuck the weapon through one of the gaps, they could have stabbed Byakuya to death. If so... That means the killer was able to get under the floorboards. Where? And how? I don't know that yet, but I have a feeling there's someone here who does know. dropped your earring in the dining hall, right? Are you referring to the Hellhound earring? About that earring. I said, are you referring to the Hellhound earring? About that Hellhound earring. You dropped it beneath the floorboard, right? <laughs> Just a bit longer and I would have reduced everything, including that old building, to ashes. However, it's just as the old legend said. The Hellhound Earring has returned to its owner, to me! Is it safe to say that that earring is the one hanging from your right ear? Huh? Could it be? Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. And if he had it on by the time the class trial began, then that means Gundam was able to retrieve his earring from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. So, Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. <laughs> it's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. But I am different! With the power of my four Dark Devas of Destruction, it is of no concern! True, this is the evil fourth eye. 
Before the might of the evil fourth eye, all visual chaos is rendered asunder. What should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to him. No! Oh, man up and speak more clearly. Fine, I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. A secret passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. And as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the Hellhound Earring with my own two hands! <laughs> Tremble with fear, fools! Behold my power! There he goes blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous. You're just a breeder, you know. Anyway, it sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. And that has to be how the killer did it. If the space beneath the floor is empty, it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there... Stab! 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 Huh. Are you sure? You don't like stab, stab, stab? Should it sound more fleshy? Like... No, I'm not talking about your sound effects. You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, but that means they would have had to leave the party, right? So, was there anyone who was able to do that? Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboards. Who wasn't at the party again? I didn't participate, but I was guarding the entrance, remember? Monomi over there can be my witness. Yes! This Monomi over here is your witness! I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further, but I was unable to leave the bathroom. I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Um, the only person who wasn't at the party... Judging from the photo I took before the blackout... It obviously has to be him! Yay! It's decided! What the... What the fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer! Oh, really? What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it? Don't mess with me! I'll fucking kill you! See? You're making threats again. Yep, yep, that's right. Things are starting to get exciting! During the party, the killer was lurking under the floor like a cockroach. And they could have stared at panties all day without going to the storage room in the dark. Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer! But when the party started, nobody saw you, you know. That means you have no alibi. The culprit is self-evident. 
During the party, the killer was lurking under the floor. Then they could have stared at me without going to the storage Is that true? Oh, you don't act like I'm the... But when the party started, nobody saw you, you know? That means you have no alibi. No, that's wrong. No, Fuyuhiko definitely has an alibi. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Um... Oh, you're right. I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. There's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. It's still your fault. Like, why were you even lurking around the old building in the first place? Ch Shut up! Maybe there really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside. Maybe What'd you say, motherfucker? Oh, no! <laughs> wow, he got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. Then someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. During the party? It was probably during the blackout. Well, if someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. And that room was much closer. But is it really impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. It was super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. It appears we're getting close to the final stage. The Blackened or the Spotless? Which is superior? The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that... It's like making a seafood bowl without fish! Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? What a pain, I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? Crap! The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. Is it really not? What if they used a string like the cup? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? What a pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? I agree with that. I know. The killer had a light with him. Oh, I was right? But where could they have found a light? There was one nearby for sure. See? It's written on the kitchen's equipment list. It's the portable stove. Portable stove? The portable stove isn't powered by electricity, and it's also small enough to carry around. So, the killer used the portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the blackout. I see. I never considered the portable stove. A hole. What kind of hole? It would be great if you could explain it to me in much more detail. Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. It's really not a perverted joke. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> Repeating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Now then, Hajime, will you battle against me? No, that's wrong! Will you be able to break through my...
Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? I can't back down! Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the off was because the hallway was so if the light was shining in such a dark hallway. Wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Allow me to cut through those words! Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? Huh? What are you talking about? There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Plus, the hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. I see. To actually notice the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate... Oh, you still don't remember your talent, do you? Who cares about that right now? Nagito, what are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. You sound so scary. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? You sure like to piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Hey! It's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. More importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Time runs out when I get bored. Fine, I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me, to show themselves. <laughs> You're obviously the killer, right? If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it, no matter what it is. about there's no way of course that's simply my assumption so if you have an objection please speak free uh, objection or not why am i being treated like the killer because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen that's it that's the only reason you're treating me like a killer isn't that you're cruel cruel too cruel Terry, that attitude is so not like you, for the ultimate cook to get so upset. Call me shit. If you fall to aspersions like this, who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? The, the future of the culinary arts? That's right. For the future of the culinary arts, you must face this and fight it fair and square. Y you're right. Yeah, that's totally right. So what's an aspersion anyway? Is it yummy? Did you know asbestos is yummy too? You should try some later. Nagito, 
Why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light. And that they used the fire door to mask that light. And that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Then what? It's dark under the floorboards, too. So how would they be able to stab Byakuya? You're not gonna say they shined the light on Byakuya, right? The plan would have been ruined if he noticed. That's right. What do you think about that? That's... There's no way you can answer, right? You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He actually went under the floorboards. No. Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness. What? A shining liquid in the dark? That sounds super important! If there was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? And in doing so, it might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim. I can prove it with this! The mark you're talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the knife, right? Ah! By using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark! I see. The killer didn't target an actual person, they just struck the moment the glowing paint moved! That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife! 
So, the killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Well, Teru Teru! S seriously, I don't know anything. Really, I don't know anything at all. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? You again? Just stop already! N now, now. We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did Ibuki hear during the blackout? What the hell? What's going on here? This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? She heard... Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall? Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? That's right! That's exactly it! But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So, why was he in the dining hall? I... I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen, so I panicked and ran out of there. Of course, the hallway was dark too, but somehow, I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Well, it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by licking their sweat. So, if you want, you should try licking me. No way! You look greasy! But I heard Terra Terra's voice in the dining hall! Ibuki swears on her honor! That's right! Teru Teru was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Which means... He's not the killer. No, that's not it. Wh why? Why do you want to keep falsely accusing me? It's not like I want to blame you. I just... You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. You're just progressing toward the hope you believe in. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome, unlike his face. Maybe it was recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. I'll shoot through that contradiction. Just because we heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Huh? Why? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. But, 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 but... I see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Is that true, Teru Teru? <laughs> Hold on a second! Can you explain this, Teru Teru? I told you to wait a second, ain't I? Yeah! What are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you, I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. Where are you from again? Ooh. I was born in West Asafu and raised in South Ayuyama. Hey, you guys! This guy's a major liar! If Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned, right? Well, I believe so. 
There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? I, I sure was! I was there the whole damn time! Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. People's lives are at stake. Damn right! You guys should have been decided this on the spot with your hazy memories! His accent is getting even worse! He's definitely lying! However, I am not sure. I believe that he was there, and I believe that he was not there. No! Oh. Is there any way we can decide? Why don't we consult his memories? Gosh, yeah, don't be sad. Things like that don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? I probably can. Oh, 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 you again! I can prove it with this! If you're claiming that you were in the dining hall when the power came back, then you should know how Mikan was positioned at the time. Whoa, what?! No! Don't make me remember! It's so embarrassing! No, this is a very important question. Well, Teru Teru, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? Huh? Um, it was a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it so easily. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I showed you something so unsightly. Uh, how about it? You can't answer, Teru Teru? Um, um, huh? Uh, huh? That's weird. It just slipped from my mind. There's no way it would slip from your mind, especially not a pervert like you. Uh, um, even so... <laughs> Nagito, say something! Hmm. I guess you might have to give up now. Wait, give up? What do you mean, give up? Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Well, hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Huh? But it's already decided, right? No matter what, it hadn't been cleared up yet, Chef. It's no use. I can't understand him anymore. It appears he's saying the murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. You understand him? But it's such a sad defense. This is too cruel. Oh, you calling me the killer? Then where's the weapon? Come on, Manumi. Enough with the whimpering and translate. Um, he said if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? The weapon, huh? It's not the knife, right? Judging from Pyakuya's wounds, it was a thin, edged tool that's roughly five millimeters in diameter. Also, if they stab from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. After all this, who cares about the weapon? Not good enough! Not good enough at all! He said, not good enough. Not good enough at all! Fine, I got it. Let's try thinking about what the weapon was. What are doing? What are doing? Um, he said, try to do it. <sighs> what a confusing accent. Thank you. 
The weapon must be the Iron Skewer! Huh? The Iron Skewer? Before the party, as Byagiyo was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Terror Terror. So that missing Iron Skewer is the weapon? An Iron Skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, Teru Teru, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Ah, uh, oh, oh! Abo Levine! Abo Levine? Huh? Did he really just say that? He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. You probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? This school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop. Island sirens? Just for littering? Also, I was on guard duty, and I never once saw Teru Teru leave the old building. Which means, he obviously hid it somewhere in the old building. It's probably the kitchen again, right? Teru Teru, just man up and be straight with us. Oh! Shut up! 
don't know, I don't know, I don't know! That's impossible! Paris Hilton! Nonsense! Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! That's impossible! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! That's impossible! Paris Hilton! Nonsense! Ah! Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! That's impossible! Ah! Unforgivable! Where would the weapon be? This is the end! Could the iron skewer have been hidden inside the piece of meat on the bone? What are you saying? There's no way I'd hide anything in a plate like that. That's clearly impossible! I mean, that's inside the food! Impossible. That's what Biaki and I thought. That's why we overlooked But in fact, the only place you could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepare, the only one that could hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is? The meat on the bone. What now? I'm using my right to remain silent. There's no way that exists here. We need to confirm this now. So if we eat that tasty looking piece of meat and find the iron skewer inside, bullseye. All right. Monokuma or Monami, one of you hurry and bring over that piece of meat. One minute. Just give me one minute. I'll eat the whole thing. Wait, now hold on a second. Time out, time out. What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over. Uh, about that. Huh? Where did Monokuma go? I'm right here. I'm already eating it. Uh, a bear that eats meat. Uh, wait, now that I think about it, that's pretty normal. Ah, now. What is this? So yummy! Damn it! That's my meat! I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life! This, this is bad! Seriously, this is really bad! My, my! There's something inside the meat! Look what came out! Isn't that... Is that an iron skewer? Check it out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. Pretty clever. The sword of destruction, encased in bone and sheathed in meat. It brought catastrophe unto Byakuya. As expected of Teru Teru. Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. You're wrong. I'm not the killer. I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. I got it. You all set me up. You guys set me up so you could blame this on me. Jeez, what a disappointment. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Hey, Nagito. I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? He said, you're all nothing but a bunch of poor, loud mouth fast food eating hicks. You, you don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can tell what he's trying to say. Never, never, never tell the about cooking on your grave. I guess we need to settle this once and for all. To do that, we need to go over the entire incident from beginning to end and make everything clear. So, we need to do it.
We will never give up!
Here's everything that happened in this case. Let's try going over the whole incident, beginning with right after the party started. Yakia had us gather in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening letter he received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. Though one person didn't come, the rest of us assembled at the dining hall, and the party was underway. But at that time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. They plugged three irons into the outlets in the storage room, which nearly capped the power usage. Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m. The air conditioners in the office and dining hall. They had already set the timers for these. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. Since the windows in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. But when that happened, Byakuya took out a specific item that he brought in his case. That item was the night vision goggles. Byakuya was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a variety of security equipment with him. When he put on his night vision goggles, Byakuya witnessed a certain someone making a suspicious move. He saw Nagito guiding himself with the desk lamp's power cord so he could get under the table. That's right. Everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to Byakuya, the source of the blackout, it was all Nagito. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began making their move in the kitchen. The killer probably already knew about Nagito's plan, so they knew a blackout was coming. That's why the killer prepared all the items they would need to commit their crime in the dark beforehand. They needed a light source, which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. They needed a weapon, too. This had also been hidden in the kitchen beforehand. The long iron skewer used in the churrasco dish. The killer hid that inside that meat with the bone in it. With the weapon and portable stove in hand, the killer stepped out into the hallway. First, they closed the fire door in the hallway so their light source wouldn't peek toward the dining hall. Then, guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room and grabbed a specific item. That's right, a tablecloth to block the blood splatter. With this, the killer finished their preparations and snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point, or left it near the entrance of the door. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps, so there's no way they could have safely held a light source. But thanks to the glowing mark they painted earlier, the killer was able to get beneath the table. Under the table, Byakuya found the knife that had been hidden there. If only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't have gotten killed, but... He had to retrieve that knife. And at that moment... The killer lurking beneath the floorboard stabbed straight up with the iron skewer. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing paint began to move. After they murdered Byakuya, the killer purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. 
Afterward, they came out from underneath the floorboards and rushed back to the kitchen. And then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, they rejoined the group as if nothing had happened. There's only one person who would have been able to commit this crime, especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside food. Isn't that right, Teru Teru Hanamura? That's what happened. How about it? Did I get anything wrong? Th this is a mistake. A mistake, I tell you. I would never, I would never kill anyone. Would never. <laughs> <laughs> It seems this is the end. to a close. Oops! I lost control of my wild side for a second. Was that a side effect of the meat I just ate? Well, putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve-wracking voting time! Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! Oh, just a reminder, make triple sure you vote for someone. If you don't vote, I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier! <laughs> Why did this happen? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart-pounding excitement! Correct! Yahoo! No, 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 You. When that happened, he... You caught me? What? Hey! <laughs> huh? Well, what? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
No, 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 no. See? I... wrong so well what you're right Guide you all. <gasps> hmm. Why? <laughs> Such despair. Someone like me? How unexpected. Right. Right? Hey! Hey! 
possible! That's... Hey! Why, you? What's wrong? Okay, I'm going now. When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and Azabu location. Oh my, you're still talking about that? Oh, I'm serious. The Academy guarantees success for its graduates, right? So, I know it's gonna be difficult by yourself, but wait for me until then, okay? Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have to do my best to keep the Hanamura Diner from going out of business until then. Mom, you don't have to work so hard. What if you collapse again while I'm gone? I'll be fine. Moms are strong. I won't lose to some illness. <laughs> I know that already. I know that already. That's why I need to go home! <sighs> hey! Damn it! What's wrong? <laughs> That's why I wanted to go home! Fine, fine. I'm sorry. I think I'm the one who went crazy.
Damn it! Blah, 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 blah. How cruel! Wawa? No. What are you saying? Nice. Then...